welcome to bsc statistic students uh, in this class i, I explain questionnaire and a schedule uh, both are in the same sense but of course uh, i'll tell you the differences so, uh, how to design a questionnaire and uh, what are merits and demerits similarly of schedule right so first you see what is the uh, definition and what is meant by a questionnaire the collection of data through the questionnaires is the most popular method for collecting the primary data. For a primary data, uh, we collect the data through the questionnaires. So what is meant by a questionnaire? A questionnaire is well prepared a list of questions regarding the inquiry of the survey. So it is a very, very simple part. Um, but the preparation is a very uh, difficult task. Uh, that uh, uh, requires uh, subject expertism and uh, skill uh, in the um, uh, in prepare in the preparation of the questionnaire uh, and the preparation in the preparation of questions uh, etc so the questionnaire not, is nothing but it's well prepared list of questions regarding the inquiry that's all so in this method the questionnaire is sent to various respond respondents uh, and they have to answer the questions and return the questionnaires. Uh, this method is uh, uh, mostly employed, uh, mostly used in various economic and business surveys. Whatever the uh, kind of survey, uh, they have to prepare some set of questions uh, in the form of questionnaire and which is called questionnaire and uh, uh, they have to send to the respondents and respondents are supposed to fill the questionnaire that is uh, the fill all the answers uh, answer all the questions and then they have to return the questionnaires to the respective organization or an individual this is what the uh, um, questionnaire what is uh, the procedure and what is meant by questionnaire how the questionnaire is going to be run right is going to be used and uh, now you come to the, um, uh, the merits of the questionnaire the method is very economical when the universe is large and the area is wide because uh, uh, the, we prepare the questionnaire uh, on a particular paper and we send the paper to the respective uh, individuals so that is uh, our respondents and then they have to fill the uh, questionnaire and they fill the questionnaire and they have they have to send back to the questionnaire questionnaire to the organization or uh, whoever require who are doing the statistical inquiry right so that is the reason why if the universe is large universe means population population is large or area is wide even though area is a wide area and then we can easily conduct the um, this kind of statistical survey by using the questionnaire right and uh, some more merits uh, I discuss here. Uh, the respondents may furnish the answers well, um, which leads to more accurate results. So if they know the answers, they um, furnish the answers well and, uh, and so that uh, which leads more accuracy. And uh, thirdly, the data may be col collected uh, conveniently from the rural and remote areas, even though for rural area, remote area, uh, we can easily collect the data because uh, just only sending the uh, questionnaires and uh, um, respondents are supposed to fill and they have to return back so that is the reason why the collection of data from the ru even rural or remote areas it is very very uh, simple uh, to collect the it's uh, most convenient to collect the data and uh, fourthly the data is more reliable because uh, we select the respondents those who are able to give the information uh, furnish the information give the information those who are give the information uh, able to give the information we select those people therefore definitely the data is more reliable we get the data is more reliable right now we come to the uh, discuss discuss the if you discuss the demerits uh, come to the demerits uh, sometimes the respondents may not return the questionnaire this is what the serious problem of uh, for example we have selected one respondent and respondent is not mm, not uh, return the questionnaire so that is uh, one of the uh, drawback uh, or uh, one of the demerit of this particular uh, mm, questionnaire mm, questionnaire method some questionnaires uh, may not filled up properly 
completely depends on the respondent who uh, furnish the information, give the information. So therefore, uh, if they are not interested, they may not fill the questionnaire, questionnaire properly. That are, they may not uh, uh, answer all the questions. Uh, uh, which questions? Uh, which which are the which questions they uh, prepared? They are they know and they are uh, um, uh, they know very well. Are uh, um, they are familiar familiar with the questions? They are, um, those questions are going to be answered. The remaining questions. For example, some difficult questions uh, that is uh, uh, ambiguity is there in the question, then definitely they will leave the question and uh, they um, may not proper, um, properly um, fill the questionnaire. Hence, the incompleteness causes less efficiency. That is uh, one of the serious drawback of this particular method. Right? Uh, this method cannot be used for illiterates, obviously. Uh, only literate people can uh, can answer can uh, answer and uh, can fill and uh, return the questionnaire. Therefore, for illiterates, uh, this method cannot be uh, useful. But once the questionnaires are sent to the respondents, uh, then investigating agency cannot change or modify the questions. That is also one drawback. This method is not flexible. So, in case of inadequacy or incomplete answers, it is difficult to obtain supplementary information, right. One the, for, for example, uh, inadequate, incomplete answers, inadequate answers, then we cannot go again and again and uh, we cannot get the information. That is one of the drawback of this particular method. And even supplementary information also cannot be obtained because only the questions are answered by the respondents and the remaining supplementary information cannot be collected. Even if, for example, in the case where uh, investigator ask the questions, uh, um, then they can uh, suppose to get the uh, supplementary information that is additional information uh, which are required for the um, questions. So therefore, this is, this is not possible in this uh, uh, questionnaire method. The method is likely to be most time consuming, most time consuming because you have to wait until and unless uh, uh, they return the questionnaire. So that is the reason why it's most time confusing. Since the respondents can take their feasible and sufficient time to return the questionnaire, that is what they, they take their they sufficient time. So therefore, um, the method is uh, uh, most time consuming, right? The good here uh, explained the features of good questionnaire. The good how the good questionnaire. In order to make the questionnaire more effective, it must be very carefully drafted. The following are some of the qualities of a good questionnaire. What are the qualities? You see the qualities here. The size of the questionnaire should be as small as possible. It should be simple, clear and unambiguous. The question should be brief. The question should be arranged in a logical order. In a particular logical order it should be. Um, uh, we should ask uh, in a logical order. Order should be certain order to be maintained. That must be logically to be um, uh, maintained. Questions may be dichotomous, that is uh, probably the questions, you, you should give the questions like yes or no answers. That is that then that would be very useful uh, to uh, the respondents uh, and the organization. The respondents may um, definitely give the proper answers, uh, easy answers, easily they can answer uh, the questionnaire, that is all the questions. And uh, organization also um, uh, will be uh, more useful for, for this, this kind of method is more useful for the um, organization. Multiple choice are not of lengthy answers. Lengthy answers should not be, um, the questions should not be prepared with lengthy answers. Uh, the case of sensitive, um, sensitive and personal nature of questions should not be, should be avoided. The personal um, kind of questions are to be avoided in the questionnaire. The question should not be open and and preferably appropriate answer choice should be given. So open and questions we should not uh, ask, right? So this is what the about the questionnaire. Now I'm discussing the schedule. What is meant by a schedule? You see, in this method, um, uh, the team of enumerators selected and special training will be given to them. Uh, some kind of enumerator searches which meant by investigators are selected and uh, they, they will give us a proper training, proper training and uh, so that the enumerators fill up the schedule. So this is the difference between the questionnaire and a schedule. The questionnaires are filled by respondents, 
whereas schedule it is nothing but it is a, a team of enumerators selected and special training will be given to them to all the investigator investigators or enumerators and the enumerators fill up the schedule then it's uh, they go and ask the questions directly to the respondents and uh, they furnish the information who furnish the information the investigator or enumerator they furnish the information that is called schedule schedule is also a set of questions questionnaire is also a well prepared set of questions questionnaire also contains question questions set of questions schedule also contains set of questions but only the difference you see the difference between a schedule and questionnaire methods is that the schedules are being filled by the enumerators the schedule is is uh, going to be answered that is uh, answers are filled by the uh, enumerators or investigators whereas questionnaires are filled by the respondents the um, there is no part of investigator or enumerator uh, in the questionnaire whereas in the schedule directly the investigator asks the questions and enumerator asks the questions and uh, um, uh, uh, by providing whatever the information provided by the respondent, uh, the uh, investigator is supposed to write the answers in the question paper that is questionnaire the schedule. That such kind of uh, uh, questionnaire is nothing is called schedule. The questionnaire it is uh, filled by the respondents only. Right. A special team of enumerators is appointed for recording answers given by the respondents. The enumerators explain clearly the objective of the survey. So, here is the one particular clear possibility that uh, enumerators uh, can explain uh, what is the objectives, what is the objective or what are the objectives of the survey that can be that is uh, one of the uh, more useful thing to the respondent to give the proper answers and to get the accurate answers, more reliable answers. So, that is the one of the main advantage of this particular schedule. The enumerator explained clearly the objectives of survey, the definitions of basic concepts and rules of the respondents and record their responses. Whatever, they, by keeping in view that uh, they explain each and everything uh, regarding the sa sample enquiry, that is statistical enquiry. And uh, so that uh, they have to, they furnish the information, they write the responses, record the responses, answers of the, uh, from the respondents. So that is the reason why schedule is a one such most effective method. Census is usually conducted by using this method in the world. So census is one such uh, most popular method of method of a particular uh, statistical inquiry. Uh, most uh, uh, popular method. This is census is one of the most uh, important statistical survey. Survey uh, in which uh, the schedule is uh, is going to be used. Uh, so, this is one of the method used, schedule is going to be used in the census. And the, if we come to the, um, discuss the merits, this method can be uh, uh, used for illiterate population. This is uh, suitable for illiterate population because uh, respondent uh, uh, only uh, to be, uh, to give the answers only, uh, to um, only uh, just give the answers that's all uh, by understanding the objectives of the survey uh, they give only the answers so therefore uh, uh, here investigators record the uh, answers uh, who who is uh, properly trained uh, who are properly trained and uh, they furnish, they uh, furnish the information they uh, record the responses so they record the uh, information so therefore illiterate population also for illiterate population also uh, this method is going to be used properly that uh, the data collected by the method uh, by this method is more accurate and reliable obviously we have discussed uh, very clearly right uh, and if you come to the uh, some more uh, important uh, merits uh, in this method the information given by the respondents can be checked and on the spot on the spot which can be checked what are the um, re, uh, response or information given by the respondents uh, it can be checked out by cross questioning by asking some more question some more relevant question uh, 
uh, we can easily uh, check whether the respondent uh, is giving the proper answers or not. And uh, one more is uh, non-response in this method is very little, uh, which is a very rare case, uh, the non-response is, go is uh, going to be obtained, is going to be observed. So therefore, uh, non-response is very less. And the uh, identif identity of the respondent is known in this method, whereas it is not clear in the case of male questionnaire method. In the questionnaire method, identification of respondent is not possible because we just only uh, give the send the question is through the post or mail uh, and uh, therefore uh, respondent is not known. So, whereas uh, the respondent is known in this particular method, which are the uh, which are the merits of this particular this method, the schedule that is the method of schedule, right? Now you see the uh, demerits. Some of the demerits of this method also in this in this method is most expensive among all the methods of collecting primary data. To collect the primary data, this is most useful method. But even then, uh, um, uh, the method is expensive, right? And it is more time consuming, obviously, expensive and time consuming. The success of the method mainly depends on the efficiency and the skill of the enumerators. That is very, very important. Uh, the success completely relying, completely depends on the efficiency and skill of the enumerator. If the enumerator do uh, properly, this method is 100% uh, success. Otherwise, the method is going to uh, in a wrong direction. It, it may lead wrong uh, results. So, the success of the method completely relies on the preparation of schedule. That is also one of the very important thing that is uh, whoever prepared the schedule, um, uh, it uh, completely depends on uh, the preparation of the schedule. This method, success of this particular method completely uh, depends on preparation of the schedule. You have to prepare the schedule, that is the set of questions which are going to be prepared keeping in the view of the objectives of the survey and therefore, uh, the method is completely, the success of the method is completely depends on that particular preparation of the questionnaire. That is questionnaire means here schedule, uh, the, the schedule, the question, set of questions uh, prepared in the schedule. The schedule preparation is very, very important because to ask the questions effectively, uh, you have to prepare uh, schedule, schedule properly, schedule effectively and, and the, the entire success of the, um, uh, this particular method, schedule method uh, uh, of collecting the primary data, um, most uh, rely on two particular parts, preparing the schedule and efficiency of the enumerators, skill of the enumerator. So, if you understand these are the two particular methods, I have distinguished very clearly uh, the questionnaire method and the schedule, the questionnaire and schedule. Thank you.